Welcome to Counters. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at the company statement of financial position or the balance sheet. In one of our previous videos, we looked at how to do the balance sheet from the post adjustment trial balance. We looked at a simple balance sheet. So if you'd like to check that one out, you can click on the link on the top right of the screen or in the description below. But in this video, we are specifically going to look at the statement of financial position for a company. So here we are given information and we are asked to do the statement of financial position as of 28 February 2010. So I've already drawn up the format of the statement of financial position and we just need to do what is required from the information here and plug in the amounts. So let's look at number one. We are told that the authorized share capital comprises of 1 million ordinary shares at 2 rand per value each. And by 28 February 2009, that is at the end of the previous financial year, 600 ordinary shares had been issued at par value. And during the current financial year, a further 200,000 shares were issued at a premium of 70 cents each. So a few things to note here. There's a difference between authorized share capital and issued share capital. Authorized share capital are the shares which have been authorized by the company. It's the maximum amount of shares that can be issued by a company. And issued share capital is the amount of, sh of capital or the amount of shares that, that has already been issued. In other words, it's already held by shareholders. So that is the difference between the authorized and the issued share capital. Another thing to note here is the premium. The premium, if a share is issued at a premium, that means it's issued at an amount over and above the par value. So if they tell us that the premium is 70 cents each, we are told that it was issued, that means it was issued at 2 rand plus 70 cents each. So it was issued at 2 rand 70 cents each. And when we record our share capital or ordinary share capital, we record them at par value and the share premium will be recorded separately. So whenever we record our share capital, even though some of it were issued at the premium, we'll record them at, ordinary, at, at par value and then we'll record the share premium. So let's see how do we record this. It told, it told us that by 28 February 2009, 600 ordinary shares had been issued at par value. So that's 600,000 shares times 2 rand each. And we're told that during the current financial year, a further 200,000 shares were issued at the premium of 70 cents each. So to record the ordinary shares, it's 200,000 rand, 200,000 shares times 2 rand each. So to get the ordinary shares, we take 600,000 shares times 2 rand plus 200,000 shares times 2 rand. It gives us a total of 1,600,000 rand. And that goes under equity because that's our ordinary share capital. So we put ordinary share capital under equity, 1,600,000 rand. And then let's record the share premium now. We're told that the 200,000 shares which were issued during the current period were issued at a premium of 70 cents each. So we're going to take 200,000 shares times 70 cents. It gives us a total of 140,000 rand. So we record that under equity as well because it's our share premium, 140,000 rand. Let's move on to number two. We're told that the following balances appeared in the books on 28 February 2010. That is at the end of this period at which we are doing the statement of financial position. So we are given land and buildings at cost at 1.8 million rand. So we know that land and building is a non-current asset. So we record it under non-current asset section. So we record land and building 1.8 million rand. We also told that equipment at cost 300,000 rand. So we record equipment under non-current assets because it's a non-current asset. So we record it at cost 300,000 rand. We hope that you are gaining value from this lesson thus far. To continue, we charge a reasonable fee whereby the full link to the entire lesson will be provided. Our rate for the entire lesson are as follows. If you are within South Africa, we charge a rate of 100 Rand. And if you are outside South Africa, we charge a rate of only $10. If you wish to purchase the entire lesson together with the documents with the questions and answers that we used in this lesson, you can contact us on our email as you can see here below, info at counters.com or you can also check further contact details at our Facebook page at facebook.com slash counters and you'll find this information in the description below as well. See you on the entire video. Cheers.